bags these days they do not have the quality one expects from luxury seriously as you know guys on this channel sustainability matters and we embrace imperfect sustainability so i'll leave you some tips on how you could be imperfectly sustainable. Please know that this is for educational purposes as well as informational purposes. Even when it comes to vintage items that these high-end houses made long ago, some of them are made from polyester. Chanel is guilty of that. And yes, there are so many that would question your ethics when it comes to buying fakes, despite the fact that they are standing the test of time. This, this is over 20 years old from my friend. It's, it's fake. She gave it to me ages ago. And the canvas is, it's immaculate. It's in great condition. It stood the test of time. So many are really frowning at you for investing in what you could afford. This is in no way, shape or form promoting fake bags. No, not at all. I love vintage and I would encourage you to buy vintage because fake bags are often made from newly produced materials regardless of how better they are and there are testimonials from factory workers which state that the fakes are indeed better than the authentic ones so yeah you do you if Coco Chanel didn't mind that they replicate her if she thought that replicating her items is a compliment, who are you? No, who are you? In those days, it was flattering for them. It gave them more exposure, which, is, which they needed at the time. So they loved it. While there are incidents where it can prove it, it's not definitely not the right thing to do. The average person that you find on Canal Street, they will tell you if you talk to them that they're just trying to make a buck like anybody else. I'm a big advocate of surviving and often we are placed in situation where we have to learn to survive on our own because these economic times they don't favor us so when it comes to ethics you should also look into where homes gets its exotic leathers to make your Birkin and your kelly's do you know where homes got it there's an article from peter which states and this was done through an investigative research oh my god this is making me hot. It's hot outside. That, and this is polyester, so I'm telling you guys, don't ever invest in polyester. It's because I already have them in my closet. That's why I'm wearing them to death. But, yeah, no bueno. Anyway, as I was saying, there was an investigative research found by Peter that Hermes was rearing animals like alligators and those exotic animals that makes your bags for their skin. There's an actual farm. Yes, there is. And there are also issues of paying workers properly when it comes to getting your items to you. Yeah, you know those deliveries that you're so excited 
about to get to you the delivery guys yeah there are often petitions out there that are asking begging homies to pay its workers better yeah and of course there's the petition to stop the rearing of exotic animals the lizards the alligators yeah does it shock you you don't care no yet you jump on the bandwagon and you look down at those people that buy fakes right yeah and of course when it comes to quality think of dior seriously it doesn't surprise me i was watching a fellow sustainable youtuber and she just bought this i don't even i can't even with a straight face say that it's a pouch yeah it doesn't look like a pouch you know what it looks like it looks like a raincoat my seamstress stitch up to hold my phone so that while I'm running to get the bus yeah it doesn't look good and while that doesn't surprise me because as I've said I buy vintage listen I like the brand yeah I don't necessarily like its umbrella but I like the brand my first bag was this I was looking for this in summer it's yeah Dia was my first bag that I dabbled in so I bought this wallet and I really really love it it actually holds much more than it looks and it's vintage and I just love it while many people are surprised at the way these houses treat their workers I'm not as I've said before we need to educate ourselves about the brands we support the brands that we buy new from I buy vintage we need to really consider and put them under a microscope look at their social responsibilities look at their ethical issues look at their many issues it doesn't even have to be on the sustainable spectrum in any way but just look at them examine them how much do they produce per year what's what's their quality ratio what's the issues that real people not rich people real people that save their money and actually give you honest reviews not in not necessarily influences because they have financial interests but look at the real people in post forums for example that would tell you their stories that's where the real stories are because they have nothing to lose they do not have dogs in the fight so look at them see and listen to what they are saying when I hear of these investigations about D or about um, the other one that I don't even want to mention its name with the child issue yeah when I hear of them it doesn't surprise me because you need to put on this kind of lens where you view these companies if they're over producing per year and if they have any elements of fast fashion which 99.9% .9 of them do they are somehow abusing somebody the minorities are suffering the workers are suffering at the expense for us for you to get their bags yeah somebody is suffering and interestingly the price that you pay it doesn't go in their pockets not interestingly but shockingly 
you might add yeah it doesn't when would you wake up to that why do these news shock you anymore it's been going on for quite some time since the beginning of capitalism when the capitalists re realized that having capital is the key to keeping some under subjection that's why I don't believe in intergenerational wealth because intergenerational wealth often is from the back of the abused the used I'm quite happy with buying vintage and nothing whatsoever anybody could say to me if you try to shame me yeah doesn't matter to me I love these two bags I love Dior and as much it's one of my favorites I only have two bags from Dior oh <laughs> the other one but at the same time, guys, I am very mindful of what I buy, regardless of whether or not I love a brand. Because if you look below, you would see that what lies beneath these brands, it's a lot of unfairness. And as my fellow um, sustainable um, YouTuber states, it's often at the expense of others and it's also the fact that these are corporations these are companies with stakeholders what do stakeholders want a return for their investments yeah so think about it I hope that you have learned something if you love it of course like it and subscribe.